They say that home is where the heart is. And in the case of rich people, home is the place where you use all of your money to make some of the most insane living spaces in the world. Or maybe you have free houses if you're a celebrity. Honestly, the sky's the limit. If you want to find a crazy expensive home, you just gotta look at the places where famous people live and be ready to have your mind blown. Today we're gonna be looking at 10 insane celebrity homes. You're not gonna believe the luxury and extravagance of these spaces and you'll want to be friends with these celebrities, or even someday become one yourself. All this just so you can step into modern palaces and enjoy the high life at least for a little bit. Make sure you check the one I have at the top. It took a lot of imagination for someone to design this place. Number 10. Celine Dion's Water Park Mansion. Florida is a very interesting place. If you're not from there, you might have heard about it because of its theme parks as well as most of its people. The people there have kind of become a meme within themselves. Oh yeah, they also got beaches, but I mean the people are more interesting. But putting all of that aside, celebrities love to build their homes over in Florida, and that is the case of Celine Dion who made this crazy mansion in Jupiter Island, the fancy side of Florida. And what's so crazy about this place? Well, besides its 13 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, and lots of open space with great views, this home has a massive pool that can easily qualify as a water park. It even has a water slide! Some other features include five pavilions spread around the property, a massive kitchen with two islands, and a pool house with its own private kitchen. Back in the year of 2017, Celine finally decided to leave this place in the hands of someone else. She originally asked for $72 million, but she ended up selling it at only $27 million. You would think that anybody with that much money would immediately buy it for just how luxurious it actually is. But it took her four years to finally sell it. I imagine it's probably the upkeep. Number 9. Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban's Nashville House Don't expect celebrities to have just one house, as I mentioned before. I mean, with all that money, they can easily buy more than one, sometimes dozens at a time. Such is the case of Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban, who own a penthouse in Sydney, a farm in Bunya Hill, a condo in New York, a massive house in LA, and a mansion in Nashville. You can only expect that from an actress and a country music star who are required to spend a lot of time in all of these places. But their main home is one in Nashville, and that's the one we're going to be looking at today. The Nashville mansion cost them $3.47 million. The place has seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and a half, you know, counting that guest bathroom. It only has a sink and a toilet, a swimming pool, also um, a tennis court, actually. Rich people are weird. In total, there are 20 rooms in this massive three-story building. Other amenities include a home theater and a hobby room, which I'm sure is the place where the two daughters of this power couple spend a lot of their time. With so much space, I don't think I'd ever actually leave the house. Number 8. Lady Gaga's Gypsy Palace this house is famous not only because it belongs to Lady Gaga, but also because this is the place where Bradley Cooper came to meet her to offer her the starring role for the film A Star Is Born. Gaga got this $22.5 million house back in September of 2014. You would probably expect a house this big to have a lot of rooms. However, Gaga's house only has three bedrooms. All the other bedrooms were transformed into dressing rooms and extravagant storage spaces. There's even a special space for all of her leather, feather, and black garments. Unsurprisingly, her wardrobe space includes a refrigerator, and perhaps that's where she keeps the meat dress she wore a while ago. Honestly, she's so eccentric, who knows? And funny enough, her master bedroom is so big that it has not one, but two bathrooms, two fireplaces, a private terrace, and of course, more wardrobe space. It only makes sense that Lady Gaga would make so much room for her many costumes to be spread all over the house. Inside this home, you can also find a secret passage that will lead you to an underground suite that has a massive wine cellar. And, of course, that isn't all it has. It also has a home theater, a bar, and even a bowling alley. Number 7. Julia Roberts' Hawaii House When Julia Roberts went to Kauai to look for a new house, she came across this property that dates back to 1940. With a quiet setting surrounded by ocean and mountain views, this place is the perfect escape from the fast-paced movie industry that Roberts is used to. With five bedrooms, a massive kitchen, and even a two-bedroom guest house, this place has everything that Julia needed to have a perfect slice of paradise. However, this place actually no longer belongs to her. Back over in 2016, Julia finally sold her house for the modest price of 16.2 million US dollars. That's almost half of the 30 million that she originally wanted. And who's the new owner? That would be Mike Fleiss, the guy who created The Bachelor, and his wife, former Miss America, Laura Kepler. 
It seems like Julia Roberts likes to leave her properties in the hands of other celebrities. Back in 2005, she sold her New York apartment to actress Holly Hunter. And back in 2010, she sold one of her residences to actor and director Tim Robbins. Number 6. Beyonce and Jay-Z's New Orleans House New Orleans is one of the cities in the U.S. that has become a popular spot for celebrity homes. Sandra Bullock, Brad Pitt, and Nicolas Cage are just some of the famous people who have owned a home in this beautiful city. But perhaps the most impressive of them all is the house that Beyonce and Jay-Z bought in the city's Garden District. Originally a Presbyterian church, this building was transformed into a mansion back in the year 2000. The Queen Bee and Jay-Z bought it for just $2.6 million, which is really nothing if you look at it from the point of view of a celebrity. What once was an altar is now a dining room and the space for the church's choir became a master bedroom. The house is split into three huge apartments over three stories. There are a total of 22 rooms inside this massive house, and seven of those are bedrooms and eight are bathrooms. There's also a sitting room and a library with huge bookshelves. And if you like the outdoors, there is a garden on the rooftop, which is the perfect spot for views of the city's downtown and the Mississippi River. Number 5. John Travolta's Florida House Remember how I said some celebrities choose Florida as a place to call home? Well, here's another house to add to the list, and this one comes with airplanes. It's John Travolta's house in Anthony, Florida. His house is part of a private residency that is right next to the largest private airport in the world. In other words, you can fly right into John Travolta's property. If you're invited, of course. Travolta loves his planes. He has five of them for Pete's sake. And these include a Boeing 707, which is like many of those commercial planes you see on a regular airport. He also has a good heart as he used one of the planes to bring volunteers and supplies to the people affected by the earthquakes in Haiti in 2010. Now, if he has access to planes and private airports, it shouldn't surprise you that everything in this house is big and extravagant. His living room, also called the Great Room, has tall walls and ceilings to floor windows that allow visitors to enjoy Travolta's backyard and, of course, his planes. There's also a pool and a large guest house that's actually big enough to just be a house on its own, and it's fully equipped with a garage for 16 cars. Number 4. Penn Jillette's The Slammer Famous magician Penn Jillette is the owner of the next house on our list. It shouldn't surprise you that a celebrity magician would come up with a home idea as crazy as this one and call it The Slammer. Gillette says themselves that this is the house of a 12-year-old boy with a lot of money. With all those colors, I can easily say he's right. This home is in Las Vegas and it has a movie theater with seats for 14 people, a recording studio, 7 bedrooms, and 8 bathrooms. The floors are covered with cheetah print carpeting and the interior walls are as colorful as what you would see outside. Once you're outside the house, you can enjoy some exclusive amenities such as a swimming pool, a spa, and a rooftop balcony from which you can observe the Las Vegas skyline. Pendulette once said he would make a horror movie in the house and at the end he would demolish it in a very chaotic scene. But it doesn't seem like he's going to be able to fulfill that dream. The reason why is because a few years ago he sold his house for $1.88 million and the new owner's plans were to turn it into a 9-acre compound. Number 3. Bill Gates' Smart House More than a celebrity, he's one of the richest people on the planet. Of course I'm talking about Bill Gates and if you have seen my other videos, you actually know about this house. Like many of the houses on this list, this place has more bathrooms than bedrooms. It was built over the course of seven years with the help of 300 construction workers and $63 million. The house actually does have a name and it is Xanadu 2.0, which is based on the movie Citizen Kane, one of Bill's favorite films of all time. And how smart is this smart house though? Well, it's smart enough to interact with the surroundings and regulate the interior temperature for everyone's comfort. The walls of this house are not filled with picture frames or framed art. Instead, Bill Gates uses computer screens to display changing patterns and photography. The house has a pool with its own music system, and there's also a trampoline room. I guess Bill likes to stay active and fit in very creative environments. Xanadu 2.0 also has a reception hall for any party that Bill Gates wants to host, and he can easily host up to 200 people in it and serve them food from one of the six kitchens in the property. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I chose for today's video is one of a house surrounded by water. If you've watched my videos about houses, you will know I'm talking, of course, about Chateau Artisan, which I'm pretty sure I've butchered a lot of the times, which is a French-style house in Florida. While there's no celebrity living there right now, this place has become popular after retired NBA star Dwayne Wade and Gabby Union celebrated their extravagant wedding on this property. But now I'm going to show you another property surrounded by water that is actually owned by a celebrity. 
Number 2. David Copperfield's Musha K. More than just a home, Musha K is a private island and it is owned by famous illusionist David Copperfield. There are five housing options and there can only be 24 people at a time. Other celebrities such as Oprah Winfrey, Bill Gates, and Penelope Cruz have come to David's property to escape their fast-paced lifestyles. You can either sleep at the big main house or stay at a single bedroom hut just a few steps from the beach. Why have a home when you can have an island instead? I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Naomi Campbell's Eye of Horus At the top of today's list, I have Naomi Campbell's unique home. The home of this supermodel businesswoman was built on Cleopatra's Island in Turkey, which is a great spot for her to observe the magnificent Mediterranean Sea. The home is shaped like the Eye of Horus and was designed to save as much energy as possible. This place was given to her by her billionaire boyfriend Vladislav Doranin, and this was all for her 41st birthday. One thing I do know about the Eye of Horus is that it symbolizes protection, royal power, and good health, which I'm pretty sure are things he desires for Naomi. This home has its own microclimate with its own flow of air, heat, and lighting, making sure everyone stays comfortable. It also has its own geothermal system with enough energy to power the 25 bedrooms inside. Sadly, the couple broke up, but Naomi gets to keep this amazing property for herself. Those are all the houses I have for today. Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.